Albert Einstein, Erwin Schrödinger, Werner Heisenberg, Niels Bohr established a terrific theory that no one had thought of before. Classical mechanics seemed unable to explain the nature of our universe in the microscopic domain. So in the 1920s, all these folks discovered the laws which the theory of quantum physics and electrodynamics explores. Interest led them to discover the fundamental paradigm. Particles have no definite position within space-time. Every building block of matter cannot only be expressed as a particle but a wave, and from this much progressed. The Schrödinger equation defined a particle's wave function, and Heisenberg's principle called uncertainty into question. Unobserved, the particle remains in a field of probability, yet when measured it collapses into definitive locality. The famous thought experiment with Schrodinger's famous cat used the concept of superposition to demonstrate exactly that. The states of being alive or dead were directly superposed, and the cat's fate was undecided so long as the box remained closed. But why does this happen? What causes the collapse? Is it caused by the observer, or the system itself perhaps? The first interpretation of this curious phenomenon disconnected the observer from the system's composition. The wave function collapses when the particle is observed, a collapse of probability with energy and mass conserved. Yet in 1957, Hugh Everett postulated a universal wave function in which all systems are related. The observer is a part of the universal quantum system, all entangled in a state where wave collapse is not a problem. With every quantum measurement, a branch split must occur, forming countless many worlds for all probabilities there are. Whether the theory is falsifiable, most philosophers still debate, along with the moral implications of a predetermined fate. What started with Planck's light bulb has progressed to so much more, and the more we come to think about it, the more we find to explore.